Now, this is the pattern I'm going to be tying. Uh, as far as I believe, this is uh, a fly they call the smoke fly. It's one I've, I've never heard of. I get sent a photograph and a wee quick tie on it. Uh, going by the photograph, but it could be, as I say, it'd probably be wrong. Like, but it's, it's very close to the, uh, the photograph that I was sent. So I'm going by that and I like it. I'm going to tie two or three for a box. So uh, size I'm tying here in this case is a size, this is a size 14. Thread I'm going to be using is a black thread in Uni and AO. Uh, I've waxed the thread. I'm just going to wind the thread down. Now I'm going to rub the body uh, with a silver wire just to protect it. So this is a very fine silver wire. Wind it to the point of the hook. It's easier to do it this way than actually catch it in and try to cover it. Now for the body and the head I'm going to be using this is sword tail. It's from the peacock obviously. Now for the body I'm going to be using, using the finer herald down the bottom. So I got a, a taper. Now I'm just going to line up the ends and catch it in. With just a little, kind of loose turn. Lightly pull it through to the tips and then I'm going to wind up Oops. now to protect it I'm going to wind it towards myself because the head will need protected and the wire will do that and so if I wind it towards myself and take the wire up the same way same way I wind my thread that will protect it far better so just winding up the body Get your fingers away from the hair a wee bit, it's just allow it to open. That seems to be done quite well. So then we come over with a turn and a turn onto the hook to lock it. So we, that's what you've got to do if you wind it on that way. So we come over the hair with a turn and a turn onto the hook. Trim away the waist. Now obviously what's going to protect it is the silver wire. You're looking around about four turns of rib. Should do it. Come up with that last turn there, and then tie it in. Just wax my thread, bring it back up to obviously. Now, that's about, I would probably say, two thirds the body, and one third is the head and the hackle. So, for the hackle, I'm going to be using the, this is a, a nice light done hen that I have. Uh, and uh, I've basically got a small feather line. I've already tied a fly, that fly I've shown you with, uh, with it. So I'm going to tie another one. So I'm just going to bear some of the stem. Just make sure you watch your thread. Catch this in. With these genetic ends, you will get two or three flies out of, a, out of a single feather, especially the wee hen feathers. And this is only, I'm only putting a turn or so a hackle in. So I'm folding the hackle. And then I come round with a turn, and maybe I come round a wee half turn there just to catch it in. One, two, three, and trim away. Just need to while I try and catch these fibres. Wax my thread, making sure I tidy up this area, just leave that at the moment, we can then bring my fingers in. Come back up, ready to catch in our hair over the head. Now we're going to tie the hero head, so it's going back. I'm going to go further up and I use a couple of fibres, a couple of lengths, and then what I'm going to do is hold the base of the, the fibre, come in with a, a loose turn, and just lightly, it's a light turn, just pull it into the tips. And then wind towards the eye. Now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here to protect that is just put a wee bit of varnish onto the, the thorax area just to give it grip. It could be super glue as well, but varnish is fine, it's a wee bit slower than the super glue, it gives you time to wind. Uh, so I'm gonna wind with the hero facing towards the eye. And then just be careful, come round with a couple of turns. 
So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to pull the fibre back and tie over the top. Just ignore everything at this point. Let's go back in there. I've got some fibre so it's worthwhile going back at this point. Because if you do catch fibre you can drop back, save a bit of just to make it neater anyway. Now when you're happy enough with a few turns there, I'm just going to come in now. I use my fingers to hold back any fibre. Come in with at least three, about three turns to about finish. Draw your thread. Trim away the waste. See how it looks. That's not too bad. It's a nice enough shape. It's a nice looking pattern that. Uh, and then it's just a matter of a wee drop of varnish. Sometimes I would probably varnish the thread before I, I, didn't, I did that, but I was more wanting to make sure it was I wasn't catching in any fibre. So a wee drop of varnish on the head. Yeah, that'll do it. There you go, that's the uh, well, I can't say it's the smoke fly, but it's, as I say, I've copied it from a photograph. And uh, it's a nice light, colour light pattern. It's a lovely dressing. Uh, black charcoal instead of the grey would work. Uh, it certainly would be a nice beetle light pattern. So, as I say, it's only, it's like, you, you have a licence to tie flies your own way. And use what materials you have, and that's why we do it. And, uh, and that there looks really, really good. I should maybe look uh, on the internet a wee bit, do a bit of search and see where the, the original fly came from. But you could do that as well. And there we are. That's, uh, as I say, it's a variant, I've got to say it's a variant of the, the smoke fly. So I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for watching.